Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. The modern day Mr. Rogers. Please won't you be my neighbor. This is Ace and Friends. <laughs> How about that? Today, Tuesday? Tuesday. It's the Tuesday edition of Ace and Friends. My friends, Tech D. Rob, Riggins, all here. Today, we're going to learn a lot about uh, Tech D. Rob. Nice. I think, uh, I hope, um, if I remember to bring my notes of the things we need to know about Tech D. Rob today. So we'll get into that a little bit later. There's a lot going on on Ace and Friends. I can't see anything. I'm wearing my glasses for no reason. <laughs> Unless I'm reading, it's just a mess. Mr. Rogers didn't need glasses. He never wore glasses? I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe at the end of his life he did. I mean, he never wore glasses when he read something on the show? I never watched the show very much. I mean, I never watched it that much. And you're yeah. going to call yourself the modern day one? <laughs> it's, a, it's a thematic thing, Rob. <laughs> oh, Shut my up. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he was great. Yeah. So did you watch the show? Oh, yeah. Did you really? Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was familiar with him. I'm sure I saw it a couple of times. It was, I just don't remember. Um, I just don't remember a lot about it. It's been a long time. It, the show's been off for a long time. Yeah. There's my ticket. What? I should just become the modern day Mr. It should be the modern day Mr. Rogers neighborhood. Well, they do have a new version of it, but it's yeah. not, you know, it's called Daniel Tiger now. Oh, really? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, they've also got a Snoop Dogg cartoon that's on. And yeah, that's that weird. Be, it's yeah. weird. Watching this and and Dax loves it. But watching Snoop voice, you know, always respect your parents. Listen mm. to what they say. You know, like this is the guy who's, you know, Gin and juice and yeah, almost smoking with weed. Jail, almost with the jail for murder and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. like weird. Does he play himself? Uh, yeah, he plays his own. There's a. They're all dogs in the show, and Snoop plays the main character that's in there. And it's a, and, and it's not a lot of skits. It's a lot of songs and yeah. just talking about being a being a responsible person and being a good citizen and all that kind of stuff. And then I thought about it and thought, you know what? Uh, I've done some pretty sketchy things in my life. Yet I still try to be a good role model to kids. So yeah, good for him. Yeah. That's not a problem. Yeah. You know, you're quick to judge until you realize, well, he's lived all of his life in the public eye. Luckily, I've gotten away with a few things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> so for when, sure. So when you realize you've probably done some pretty sketch stuff, too, it makes it a little bit better. <laughs> you're the modern-day Snoop Dogg is what you are. <laughs> I don't think you need to be the modern-day Snoop Dogg when you're the same age as Snoop Dogg himself. So yeah. uh, There's a good question going around, and I just want to know. Tech D. Rob has had a lot of physical ailments. How far would Rob go? How far would anyone go to feel better, much better, no matter your current situation? Um, it could happen. You have something within your very own home that could make it happen if you're willing to pay the price. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Ace and Friends. Rob, what would it mean to you to be completely healthy? Uh, it would mean a great deal. I would, yeah. uh, not be the have first to... time in years you felt really good every day, right? Yeah, for sure. All right, well, I don't know if this is the cure-all, but if it were, would you be willing to go this far? There's a new documentary on Netflix called Hack Your Health, The Secret of Your Gut. 
Uh, it's pretty fascinating stuff. Over the course of the documentary, they have four people from all walks of life with different gut issues. IBS, one of them just uh, 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 is dealing with obesity, all kinds of stuff. And they introduce healthy gut bacteria by ingesting it in pill form. It's a pill made out of someone else's fecal matter. Ugh. From a healthier person's gut that supposedly can get your oh, yeah. gut back to normal. I've heard of this. Now, uh, they also have a woman who makes her own quote unquote <laughs> crapsules. Uh. <laughs> um, it is exactly what you think. They use their own and put it in a in a blender and mix some things up. Holy! And then take God. these pills partially composed of their own disease uh, and it helps their gut. Okay, that sounds super dangerous to be consuming. It seems to work. I hate this. It seems to work. That, but that ingesting other people's feces? Yeah. If, Rob, if that would, I know it won't fit. You, you don't have a stomach issue. You've got a back issue and a leg issue and all that. But it's been years. If somebody said that would fix your your back and leg issues, Yes or no? I mean, if it's in a capsule, it's not the worst. What if you had to make your own? Oh, if I had to make no, 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 I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope. Because yeah. you got to save everything. Yeah, no, thank yeah. you. Put it in a blender. Yeah. Yeah, throw that blender away. Riggins, whatever yeah. you want to do physically, suddenly this would fix it. Sure. You would do it? Yeah, if it was guaranteed to work. Yeah. Would you make your own? Uh, sure, yeah, if that's what it took. Yeah. That's a man committed to improving his health. Uh, they say it's they say it's pretty amazing the stuff that it can do to help you. Now, I have given you a very general overview, so don't go out and just start you know, yeah, that's taking it upon yourself to do this. <laughs> it's, there's a formula. There's some other stuff you need. Let's don't get carried away. Yeah, that's. I don't want to have to take the blame for somebody just getting themselves sick because they think I heard it on Ace and Fringe and just. Yeah. You, you know, eat your poop and it's better. Yeah, well, great. Now you got hepatitis. All the letters. <laughs> There's a lot more to it than that. But that's the question. Where do you draw the line when it comes to trying a new health trend? Ugh. If it makes that big a difference in your life, would you be willing to do it? Yeah? So think about it. Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Why you never ask mom this one question? Because you might not like the answer. Next. Ace and Friends. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. This is Ace and Friends. You got to be careful when you ask your parents questions once you become an adult. <laughs> because you might get an answer you don't want. For example, uh, this is a sweet old English lady. Although she looks, she's not that old. It looks to be in her, maybe, what, you think early 60s, 60s yeah. or so? Yeah. yeah. All right, here we go. What makes me happy is a coffee, a candle, a little bit of cake. And a tiny bit of Willie every now and again. Uh, <laughs> it's just a tiny bit of Willie every now and then. Just a tiny bit of Willie every night. Ugh, Grandma. <sighs> Sounds so wholesome. A little coffee, a little bit of cake. You know, but every once in a while. I thought of you 
instantly, Riggins, because that lady appears to be your mom's like mid sixties, sixty five or so. Yeah, yeah. mid sixties. So, so it's relatively close to your mom's age. Yeah, she and said that's something. the type of thing that I think you would go home and and if you were sitting going, oh, let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Hey, what is it that makes you happy? Coffee. Because you wouldn't expect that answer. No. Here's what would happen yeah. next. I would uh, hop up on the counter and give her a flying elbow drop, <laughs> like Macho Man. And then just right into the middle of her forehead. <laughs> like, don't ever say anything like that again. I'm going to DDT you in the living room if you ever say something like, just a little bit of willy every Will night. <laughs> Shut up. That's so <laughs> gross. There are just some things you do not want to know. No. No. Now, does it make a difference? That's a, a woman talking to her mother. Yeah. Would it make a difference if you ask your dad and he made some type of sexual joke? Would yeah, it, it'd be, same thing. Oh, it'd be the, oh, it wouldn't make a difference to you at all. It would be the same exact feeling. Hey, don't make any sex jokes. Yeah, he doesn't do that, and he finds them pretty in poor taste. So yeah. if he, he just came out and said something like that, but don't ever do that again. <laughs> don't ever do that again. Rob, if you asked your mom that and she answered something along those lines, just totally disgusted? Yeah, I, I'm not interested in hearing it. I, I have no interest. No, well, first off, no guy wants to know about his that his mom's hooking up with somebody. No. Period. You don't want to know about that. No. At all. I do think it's a little bit different between women and their moms. Maybe. They have a different bond. I think they talk about things a lot differently than... Privates and stuff. I, I think... I think... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, don't yeah. Want, I also don't want to know. Exactly, that's my point. You don't want to know, uh, in that case, everything that makes, you know, old mom happy. What makes me happy is a coffee, a candle, a little bit of cake, and a tiny bit of willy <laughs> It's a tiny bit the way willy. she says it, too. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> I mean. So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard, barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day, and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Ace and Friends presents I'm about to have a good day. The good news. Have a good day. This is a pretty wild story. The good news today starts with a second grade teacher from California who recently went to Syria and completed her goal of visiting every country on earth. All 193 countries recognized by the United Nations. She has been to every single one of them. That's incredible. Isn't it though? Only only about 400 people have done it. Now by way of comparison, how many people would you think, would you guess, how many people have been into space? Oh my gosh. More than, more or less than 400. Less. less. Really? Yeah. Wrong. Wow. 600 people have been into space. I wasn't even thinking triple digits. Yeah. Yeah, no, me neither. Yeah, 600 people have been to space. Only around 400 people have visited every country on Earth. Every country is recognized by the United Nations. That's astounding, isn't it? Yeah. It's cooler to go to space, though. Or at least we think they went to space. Yeah, right. <laughs> We've been told 600 people went to space. That's right. We don't know if they really went to space or not. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't believe that either, that there, there are far fewer people 
who have been to every country in the world that have been to space. I don't want to take anything away from her. Did she go to one of those places where you can stand in like two different countries at once? Okay. Or where like four countries meet? Because then it's l- less know, impressive. I don't know, let's say she did. Well, okay, so what? You stood on the Iran-Iraq border and went, oh, I'm in Iran. Oh, now I've stepped over the line and visited Iraq. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We count that as two? Yeah. That's, I, I mean... You don't want to go. It's a lot of some of these countries. You don't want to go into the cities. I don't know if that's. I don't know how she did it. I don't know if that's happened or not. But I would. I would give her cut her some slack on that if if she did do that. Yeah. Because in some of these places, you don't want to venture into the middle of town. No. No. I bet most of those countries are not fun to be in. Out of 193, there's probably like 15, uh, 12 good ones, like that you would like to visit. That's. Yeah, all of the Middle East. That's all of Africa. Every African nation, every yeah, South yeah. American nation, all that stuff. It's crazy uh, the number of countries. Now you go through Europe, it's easy. Yeah, you can cut through everything pretty fast. Mm-hmm. But, but wow, I just I was astounded by that. That is impressive. That's a pretty fun story there. Uh, so that is uh, the good news. Let's say you're at a wedding, and you look off into the distance, and you think, "Oh, look, there's a cow, and it's lounging," as this <sighs> wedding is taking place outdoors. And then you find out it's not a cow at all. Uh, it happened to someone. They've gone viral on TikTok. What they really saw out there, what it turned out to be, wasn't a cow. What it was will freak you out next. Ace and Friends. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate. And years of research. We've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Ace and Friends. So I recently attended a wedding that was outdoors. And it was under uh, this really beautiful, like big, you know, well put together covered area. It was very nice beautiful setting in the distance it was a a long beautiful grassy area that led down into those trees and down a hill it was really well put together you could tell they put some time and effort into planning it um there were no animals in the distance which was not the case for one lady who went to a wedding was held at someone's home there's a field behind their house and as she was filming everybody coming in the processional she realized that oh look there's there's a cow off in the distance and there's a she got a shot of the cow and then thought, that cow looks odd. So she zoomed in on the cow a little bit. And then suddenly the cow stood up. And as this couple is going through their marital vows in front of, you know, family and friends, all gathered there in the backyard in a beautiful setting, it turns out it's not a cow at all. It's um, a person, a furry, oh my God. who had been laying out and lying out in the field pretending to be an animal yeah then the furry approaches and gets relatively close uh taking pictures of everybody at the wedding taking pictures of the wedding standing there in this weird animal costume ears and all ears and all taking pictures as if you're the some type of weird furry paparazzi it's so disturbing to know that this guy was just out in a field like acting like a cow and the wedding just happened to be there i mean it's amazing. It's amazing that those groomsmen didn't walk over them and be like, dude, you got two options. Like, you either yeah. run now. You, you've got to go. Or, yeah, yeah. or we're going to beat the hell yeah. out of you. Either you're going on your own, or we're going to beat you up and take you out of here. But this is yeah. weird. But he didn't affect anything. He didn't bother anything. No. He didn't come up that. and try to approach anyone. He didn't even rel- get, get close. He stayed a pretty decent little distance away, it seemed. He probably, I mean, that still would bother me. Like it's was, very distracting at the least. Sure. At the least, you're you're trying to give me, an, and I don't know if the bride and groom even noticed him there, off yeah, the field, because not. they were hopefully so locked into each other, what was happening in the moment, the most important day of their lives, that they didn't notice that there was a guy pretending to be a cow, dressed like a cow, curled up in a field. They just like, oh, now I'm going to be an adult. I walk up and take some pictures real quick. Yeah, be a little paparazzi. 
Would you have eased over to him and like, hey, man, you need to get out? I would. Yeah, out. we gotta figure this out because I mean, he's not harming anybody, anybody. Yeah. But it's this is a wedding. It's distracting, and yeah, we're gonna beat you up probably. <laughs> we're gonna pepper spray you and throw you down the hill. I can't you <laughs> Just for being a furry. I think so. Yeah. Um, if you've got a mother-in-law you, you'll have a great relationship with, you don't want to hear what's coming up next. You really don't. It's a dream for so many people. Hang on. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help. Because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now. And consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. Ace and Friends. Historically speaking, you know, uh, mother-in-law, daughter-in-law combinations don't seem to work out all that well, you know? and that's not—it's not as true as the you know the common theme that it's uh, problematic. But here's a lady who may have the greatest uh, mother-daughter situation anyone's ever heard of. My mother-in-law likes to do is text me while I'm at work and ask me if I want the kids to get off the bus at her house. And then for her to make dinner for us and we can come and get at like 530 and get the kids and have dinner and then go home. That's what she's that's what she's been doing like twice a week. She'll text and be like, I'm free if you want the kids to get dropped off because she lives on the same bus route. If you want the kids to get dropped off at my house, I'll make dinner. Girl. Don't you don't have to ask me twice. She goes on to say that, that she got to come home from the the day the the day before they did that. She got home a little early, managed to get in a little quick workout. She and her husband went on a walk together, just the two of them. Then a little after five thirty, they rolled over to uh, to her mother in law's house. The kids were there. Hot meal was on the table, waiting on them when they got there. They had a great dinner. She said her mother in law is a great cook. Mm -hmm. Then you know after they visited a little bit, they packed the kids up, went home, put them to bed. Couldn't ask for anything better. No. And you never hear stories about like that about your mother-in-law. Yeah. It's always like, she's horrible. She's awful. Yeah. To, so to hear that is kind of refreshing. It sounds she's awesome. Yeah. All we ever hear, especially when it comes to group therapy type things, is that Monster. You know, people who are problematic. Yeah. There's an issue. She's doing this. She's doing that. She's always in our business. She's telling my son what he should be doing, all that kind of stuff. You, and, and I think they're probably, it's not as bad as it seems but very seldom is it that good yeah when, when <laughs> mother-in-law is proactively like hey by the way if you want to drop the kids off instead of you having to call them every time like hey can you watch the kids she reaches out to you and be like hey drop the kids off i'm gonna do dinner for them and you pick them up when you're ready i mean that is just spectacular uh, how much has your life changed from when you were young think about it for a minute there are things when we were young that like, as it happened it would just be like you get a new video game it should be electric that, oh, I can't wait to get home and play this. I can't wait to do this. I'm so excited. Well, as we grow older, we get that same excitement. Oh, but not for the same reasons. Um, hmm. The most exciting, boring things. And I, gave, I thought, this is pretty stupid. Then I realized, no, this is, it's spot on. Hmm. Next. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. 
do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to Bradham Brothers. Ace and friends. Friends. Whether it's good or bad. Hey, did you see that? You're not. Important or not. Uh, okay. Down. Sorry. This is the story you'll be talking about the rest of the day. The reason you're talking about this one the rest of the day is because um, this is what our lives have become as we become adults. And it's one of those things that you'll hear something in here and go, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm that person. I am that person. Um, millennials and Gen Xers on social media are now talking about, quote, unquote, adult things that when you were younger seem really boring. But these days it offers satisfaction, almost an air of excitement. OK, for example. When you walk into your closet and you've got it completely organized, mm. it's, it's an exciting moment now yeah. that you're an adult. I get that. When all your bills are, bills are paid, yeah. that's an exciting moment as an mm-hmm. adult. Um, yard work, when it's all done yeah. and your yard looks really good, you're like, whoo, yeah. look at that. I'm proud of that. I'm excited about that. Yep. Uh, getting up early on a Saturday morning to go to a farmer's market. That one's it's now electrifying for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, some of the examples are pretty fun. Um, slicing into a perfectly ripe avocado. So there's a level of satisfaction and excitement there that's just like having a brand new video game when you were a kid. <laughs> um, one of the, uh, someone who was a mom said, alone time, just sitting in yeah. silence, doing nothing. I believe it. And the build up to that time is going, they're all, oh, almost time for the kids to leave the house yeah yeah i get it i get that totally is there anything that pops into your mind when you hear that that makes you think oh yeah that's a good like adult things like putting on clean sheets on the bed that's exciting to me i'm like oh i'm gonna sleep so good tonight especially when you if you put them on during the day then don't think about it yeah and then you come back later and it's the moment you go to get into the bed you're like oh Oh, wait. Oh, these are clean and fresh. And it clean sheets along with the room that you cleaned and you vacuumed and it yeah. smells good and you've had the windows open. And it's, yeah, it's just fresh and nice. One of the other ones was when the leftovers are as great as you remembered them. Yeah, that's interesting. Like when you think, oh, these leftovers, I bet are going to be awesome. And sometimes oh, yeah. they're not. You're like, oh, this one as good as I expected it to be. But if you have something that's left over and you heat it up and it's fantastic, you're like, damn, it hit them. Yeah. We're on the money on yeah. this one, boy. Yeah, I get that one. That one's a good one. Now, on a certain level, it's kind of sad. <laughs> that uh, is what you become well, in life. What's sadder, being still excited about a video game at, at 40? You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry, Rob. We didn't mean to hurt your feelings. There. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Which is more sad. Which is more sad. Going yeah. to the farmer's market or that. Yeah, we were supposed to talk about what you need to know about Rob next, but I think we've got a detour because um, behind the scenes, there's a running joke today that I get kind of hurtful. Coming up next. Ace and Friends. Our friend, the world-famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is as Ace has said, we have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. The modern day Mr. Rogers. Please won't you be my neighbor. This is Ace and Friends. Fun, funny, and fast. Today's edition of Ace and Friends has brought ridicule my way because of that you just heard. We started the show with it, and I mentioned that I never really watched a lot of Mr. Rogers' neighborhood as a kid. 
and uh, behind the scenes, uh, Rob and Riggins have been calling me all sorts of names now, like the modern day what Malcolm X. Malcolm X. <laughs> <laughs> modern day Mandela is well, yeah, that was yeah. It, the, mo- the modern day Mandela. Uh, it's kind of funny. People I don't know a lot about. Yeah, people you don't know like, a lot I about. I get the idea. I know the concept. I know. What is the concept? It's what, okay, the concept is Mr. Rogers brought people together. You gathered for Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, and it was like it was a friendly place. Everybody was friendly, looking for some just to have a, a positive, good, fun time together. He was gentle, and he was... As that, am I. I, I, I. Yeah, I mean, I don't, that's the, the word that strikes me about Mr. Rogers. He was gentle and calm and so cool. And, and you're saying... <laughs> you're, you're, what are you saying? That I am not gentle and calm and cool. Uh, you can be, I guess. But that was like such a defining characteristic yeah. about him. Yeah. Yeah. Historically speaking, he's a much more uh, low-key presence than Soft. I am. Yeah. Soft. I'm, uh, yeah. But it's a different style of presentation here. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I came on every day, it's being my, my soft self. Yeah. Anyway. Mr. Rogers well, didn't have many... Uh, World famous cat house t shirts. <laughs> he wore a cardigan, you know. Yeah, there, that's true. <laughs> I'm literally wearing a t shirt that says, uh, okay. What is it? World famous, world famous cat, cat house. house. Yeah. Private rock and roll bar. Yeah, it's right. A, it's a very famous bar from the 80s. Mr. Rogers yeah. wore a red cardigan right. that his mother knitted for him. Did his <laughs> so mother knit it for him? Yes, it's that's a little bad. different, but. Yeah, okay. Well, you, know. you got me on that one. I can. I can <laughs> I could dress a little more like Mr. Rogers, I guess, if I wanted to no, be the do modern that. day Mr. Rogers. Or change your shoes when you walk in the door. Yeah. Took off his tie, put on the cardigan, change his go. shoes. There you go. There you go. I can do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll dress it up a little bit. We'll he see. worked with puppets. So you might need to work on that a little bit. Uh, I've never worked with puppets your at all. Your puppetry skills are a little rusty. Work on some voices. Hey, yeah. guys. You bring out Mr. Sacco or something. <laughs> it's the modern name, Mr. Rogers. What's going on? <laughs> All right, well, there are some things that you need to know about Tech D Rob that we will get into uh, coming up next on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there, there are all kinds of people that can help you do that, but not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash Temple team. Ace and Friends. We've been working to get to know you better. You get to know us better on Ace and Friends for the past few days. So yesterday we talked about things we need to know about Riggins. So today, what you need to know about our very own Tech D Rob. Um, number one, I think you need to know Tech D Rob is very much lives up to his name. He's the yeah. technical yeah. director of our show. He does a lot of technical things. But in his private life, it's very similar in that he is very much into technology, video games, video game systems, how these things work, all that kind of stuff. Dick, Rob, what was it? You went to Seattle a few years ago for the premiere of a video game. You got invited to go to that? Uh, no, that was when I went to go to a uh, the world championship of a trading card game. But I did go to... Uh, the headquarters of a place in Raleigh, in the Raleigh area, okay. that, that made Gears of War to play a new Gears of War game. There you go. Game. That's very much his world, mm-hmm. is that world of technology. He's very into that. Um, second thing you need to know, Tech D. Rob is a movie buff. Yeah. But not for all movies. You know what I mean? I don't think Rob is not going to see a movie along the lines of The Notebook and go, got to go see that. But I'm correct. I love The Notebook. I love movies like that. Oh, I love you should have should have walked that back a little bit. You, are you surprised by that, Riggs? Yes. I would see. Me too. I would not have thought you would be into movies like The Notebook, Rob. I, I did not know that. The Notebook. P.S. I love you. Love them all. P.S. I love you. <laughs> That's the one with <laughs> Dagum Gerard Butler, and he he dies, and Hilary Swank has to move on with her life. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember that. I, I can't talk about it. it makes me sad. <laughs> I, I, Rob, I really did not know that. Yeah. I thought your love of movies was mainly uh, those movies like you know Avengers and yeah. and that type of stuff. Horror yeah. movies. We know he's horror, into we horror, horror, horror movies. movies. Yeah. yeah, but the softer ones that is surprising. There's there's very few genres of of, of a movie that I don't like. Okay, so I had it down as you were just like more of a movie buff along the lines of those other types of movies, science fiction type movies and all. But 
and superhero movies. But turns out it is a very well rounded. I feel better now that I'm not the only person that didn't know that. No, I had no idea. P.S. I love you. <laughs> That's a good movie, okay? I like Black Panther and P.S. I love you. He's just not that into you. It's one of my favorite films yeah. of all time. I like watching Ant Man 2 and P.S. I love you back to back. <laughs> Did you cry at the Notebook Rob? Of course. Okay. I have a heart. I cry at everything, though. So we've established that, too. Yeah. Okay. So we got a couple more of these things you need to know about Take Me Rob coming up. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. Okay. Three more things you need to know about our very own Tech D-Rob. As we all get to share one with another, learning to know about more, learning learning more about each other with Ace and Friends. Uh, number three. Uh, the first two things were, what were the first two things? Uh, Rob loves, uh, we found he loves all movies. We thought it was just science fiction and superhero movies, but yeah. it turns out it's all movies. He loves rom-coms as well, or he loves uh, yeah, a, a good rom-com, a good tearjerker, mm -hmm. the notebook, so forth. Uh, and that he's very much into technology. He lives yep. up to his name very much. Uh, number three, Rob is in a unique relationship. Rob and his girlfriend have been together for nine years. And Rob has said, He's ready to get engaged, except for the fact that they have two dogs and one of them needs to go before Rob will get engaged. Now, Rob, has it been a full year since you said, I'm ready to get engaged, but you got to get rid of that dog? Probably more than a year. More than a year. Okay. Don't make the face freeze. It makes me feel worse. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> but that's a good way to describe it. It is a unique it's relationship. A, it's a unique relationship. They clearly love and care about each other yeah but even beyond that it's unique in that she just went on vacation to st croix with her mom yeah. and rob was like mm, i'm just gonna stay home and play board games uh in my defense i wasn't strictly invited okay but she probably knew better yeah she <laughs> loves to go and do rob's girlfriend this is one of the things that makes it unique she's very into like they'll go camping or she goes on, on weekend getaways to places. Or she goes to the beach. She's a big traveler. And Rob doesn't want to do any of those things. Mm -hmm. Correct. So they spend a lot of weekends apart. Most weekends, it sounds like. But it works for them. They've been together nine years. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Boy, and I'm, I know you know, Rob, that anytime you bring that up, the whole dog thing and not getting engaged until you get rid of that dog. Uh, women just really don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, and I mean, and sometimes they don't like you because of that. But I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. It's no, a, you know, that's a, a, that's a tough one to come back from. I read the Facebook messages every once in a while. Yeah. That would be the bonus one I would add. Rob doesn't care yeah. about your opinions well, of him. That's one of mine. Is that Oh, okay. He, is he, it? He, like he's, Rob is who he is. Yeah. And, no, and it won't change. Nothing changes in that. Yeah. Like, he doesn't care. You think he's a terrible person. Okay, that's fine. Or you think he's a great person. Okay. Yeah. He's middle of the road all the time. This is what I like. This is what I do. This is how it is. End of story. Yeah. I think part of that is like, I wish I could be like that. It's like water off a duck's back. He's right. like, I don't care. Say what you want. As Riggins has always said many times, R Rob is a boss when it comes to his relationship. He is a boss. <laughs> he is a boss. Ace and friends. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at Sweet Dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The Sweet Deals at Sweet Dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at Sweet Dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Ace and Friends. There seems to be a general rule when it comes to driving. Like, whoever is the passenger, don't touch the wheel. Don't touch the controls. 
don't touch stuff. Maybe you're allowed to touch the stereo. But when driving, just don't touch things. Yeah, I thought about you. Yeah. I think about you. This is a, a TikTok that we found that's gone viral. Guy is behind the wheel. We'll have to describe part of this for you. Guy is behind the wheel. His wife, girlfriend, whoever is seated next to him. And it is just starting to rain. All right. He's driving down the road. She reaches over, flips the windshield wipers on. Why'd you do that? It's raining. Yeah, and I can see just fine. Okay, if I can't see, <laughs> you can see. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, do not touch anything over here. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but you know, you, you said it a couple weeks ago that your wife reached over and honked the horn for you one time. Yeah. And I thought, that is crazy. And then I saw this video. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this a thing? Well, it was when we first started going out. And I said, don't, please don't do that. Ever, never again. Please don't do that. I'll honk the horn. I'll handle things on this side. Please do not do that. That is very upsetting. That is crazy. Yeah. To me. Now, she hasn't done it since, to her credit. Okay. But, um, I was just like, oh, I don't know, I don't know what world you came from, but that is not something I do in my world. As people reach out, don't <laughs> touch anything while I'm driving. <laughs> that is nuts. <laughs> yeah. I, I, the other day, I'll give you an example. She picked me up to go somewhere the other day, and uh, I got in her car. She's driving, and I keep thinking it was just starting to rain. Almost the exact same situation. I'm thinking, oh my god, I please turn on these windshield wipers. Hope you turn these windshield wipers on soon. Please turn on these windshield wipers. I didn't just say a word. I did though when she finally turned around and go. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I've been mean thinking to. about it. It's like I have been thinking about these windshield wipers that's driving me crazy. <laughs> now that was that's a you know I made it sound a lot worse than it probably was. It was a kind of a more condensed time period, but that was just a few seconds. It's like what are we? How long are you gonna wait before you turn these windshield wipers? Yeah, yeah. But I didn't reach over and hit them. No. Because I trust her. She's a safe driver. Yeah, when you start reaching over yeah. and touching things on the driver's but, that is but, crazy. But the the passenger's theory and that the woman's theory is if I can't see, you can't see. Yeah. And he claimed he was fine seeing. He's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Can't you keep your hands over there. Why are you touching stuff? <laughs> I get it. I get it. Would you Rob, does Meredith ever touch anything in the car while you're driving? Not really. Uh I've had to not use my windshield wipers because she tells me to turn them on and I'm like, I don't need them yet. <laughs> That's a real man right there. <laughs> yeah, she's, she'll tell me. I can't see, and I'm like, oh, oh well. Okay, I got to know more about that in a second. <laughs> Hang on. Ace and Friends. Our friend, the world-famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, Show me about that refi, and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me, yeah, about, that show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is what is Ace has said. We have a lot of options, and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them seven hundred dollars a month, eight hundred dollars a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. Ace and friends. If you missed it, Tech B. Rob just told us that if he's driving in the rain and his girlfriend Meredith asks him to turn on the windshield wipers, he just won't. <laughs> he just makes her wait. Um, and why is that, Rob? Uh, you know, it's mostly that she thinks she knows better than me, so I can't let that be true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever think she's right, I should turn these windshield wipers on, but I've been not going to do it? No. I'm usually, I'm usually pretty spot on. Okay. Now, I can see. I, I, have I, don't admitted, wear glasses. I have admitted before. My wife, and, and I do think it's, it's more of a thing with women and men in general, that once you're married, I don't know what that is, that a lot of guys I see on TikTok, and I'll talk about the fact that their wives are constantly telling them how to drive. Yeah. My wife is, do you want to you get in the other lane? You want to get in the other lane? You gonna, are you going to turn here? You know, we made an entire TikTok that, uh, that uh, went decently viral about it. Me making fun of her driving, just you know, 
you gonna are you gonna change lane? We gotta we gotta make a right turn in three miles. You should change lanes right now. That kind of thing. It makes me nuts. And sometimes I will not do it intentionally. Yeah. Like I was about to, but mm -mm. I'm just gonna ride this. I'm gonna ride this to the dead end just to be annoying to you. Sounds like that's what Rob's doing. Exactly too. what Rob's doing, right, Rob? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just. Is it always just turning on the wipers, or are there other things that she says while you're driving, and you just say, "I'm not doing that." Uh, most of the most of the windshield wipers. I, don't, I can't think of anything else. Do you say it out loud, like "I'm good," or yeah. you just in your mind pretend like you ignore? Her? No, I, I say something. I'm like, "No, I can see." <laughs> and did you hear a minute ago? He goes, "I can see. I don't wear glasses because she does." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I do say that. <laughs> you miss it because I Rob, told her I can have see. You, have you said to her? No, I can see. I don't wear glasses. Or maybe it's something to the to like. Don't question the person who doesn't have to wear glasses. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh my god! I can see fine. I don't need glasses. I'm that like is, some people. That is fantastic. <laughs> not just ignore it. I'm gonna throw it back at you and get a dig in in the front. Yeah. That's a, that's a true relationship right Absolutely. there. <laughs> Coming up on Ace and Friends. Ace and Friends. Oh, yesterday we talked about the whole theory of if I'm going to eat bad, you have to eat bad in relationships. Uh, my wife took that to a uh, same concept, different level, mm. different product last night. Hang on. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. This is Ace and Friends. Uh, yesterday on Ace and Friends, we were playing you this TikTok where a guy ends up going to get ice cream. His wife or girlfriend who's in the truck waiting didn't want any, but he brought her back an ice cream cone anyway. So you got to have one if I'm going to have one. <laughs> and we were shocked. And the comments were mainly people being shocked that it was a guy doing it. Because normally it's a woman that does that. Yeah. And I mentioned that's true in my relationship. Uh, my wife is a trainer. She eats very healthy. We eat a lot of, you know, salmon and chicken and lean beef and that kind of stuff. But if she's going to have like a cheat meal or something, I have to have one also. Because it's some kind of, I don't understand it. It's a weird thing. I don't know how, how, how it affects her ability to enjoy hers. I don't get that either. But it happened last night. We ended up deciding to have, uh, let's go to the Mexican place. Because mm. I didn't get home until about 5 o'clock. We went to this really cheap, great little Mexican place right by our house. We go in, we sit down. She orders, uh, she'll have a margarita. And I said, I just have water with lemon. She goes, you're not gonna, you're not gonna have a margarita. And I said, uh, no, I, said, I, don't need to, I don't wanna drink during the week. So you know, maybe one time, on, one day on the weekend, I need to cut back, I'm trying to lose about five pounds. Because I'm, I still might be involved in this professional wrestling thing, I need to get in shape. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and she said, oh, oh okay. Then we ordered, we had our food, and she was like, I tell you what, are you gonna, uh, you gonna have a margarita now? Oh gosh. And I Lord. said, uh, I said, no, I'm, I'm good. I'll just have a little more water. She goes, all right, we should just get the check. Oh, you're kidding. And I said, hang on a second. Are you asking me because you want another margarita? She was getting the small. I said, yeah. you would like to have a, another small margarita, but you won't have one unless I have one? And she goes, well, yeah, I don't want to have two margaritas. You have none. <laughs> okay. And I said, well, I can drive home if you're not, you know, because we were in her car. I said, I let her drive. I let her drive. It's like, just, you drive. I don't want to deal with it. Um, and uh, she said, no, it's not that. I'm fine. Oh, brother. So I was like, all right, tell you what. If you would, I'll have a margarita. With oh, you me. gave it? Oh, you weenie. Oh, my God. Uh, Is well, it just easier to keep the peace and just, like, get the margarita because she won't? I wanted out. her to have what she wanted. Right. I wanted her to be happy. Yeah. So, okay, I, I'll have a margarita. If it makes you happy, you can have a, your second margarita. It's a win-win for everybody. Okay. So, yeah. But there it was. It was the ice cream thing all over. Just with, you know, she the, the level of disappointment she had when she ordered a margarita, and I said, I just have water. It was like, a, <gasps> what? You're not going to have one with me? Yeah. Oh, brother. All right. Well, you only have yourself to blame. 
but I just wanted to make her happy. Yeah, I understand that, but your love handles, you know, also <laughs> want to leave. <laughs> Ace and Friends. Hey, it's Ace, and for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not 100%. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. Ace and Friends. We've talked many times on Ace and Friends and in various ways and places about what happens when you find things out about family that you didn't really want to know. And sometimes it's things you don't find out until years later. And I've talked about this revelation in my family once that one of the kindest, sweetest people, she would be, she was my grandmother's sister. Come to find out, she's just the most wonderful person, wonderful God-fearing lady. I had no idea that she'd been married before she was once before that she kind of run off and eloped and yeah. nobody talked about it. I was an adult before I found out. I was like, she'd been long been dead. And I was like, what? Yeah. Nobody told what that's crazy. What? Yeah. And also the pressure to keep it secret. It's just yeah. so different. So imagine this couple, this lady who's gone viral on TikTok for a uh, uh a little family revelation that she found out, right? not just, realize that something about your childhood was a little weird until you're talking about yeah i would go over to my grandparents house to have a sleepover and my grandma would tell me that she kicked my grandpa out of their room for the night so that i could sleep with her and we'd have our little slumber party and my grandpa would sleep in the other room and then i found out at like 15 years old that my grandparents have been divorced since my dad was a teenager and they just kept living together, but he wasn't kicked out of their room. He just had his own room for himself. That's now, crazy. That means for decades, the grandparents had been living under the same roof, divorced, but just living together. Wild. Did they date? Did they bring dates home? Probably not. Probably not. But there's a sweetness to it that they never yeah. wanted the little girl to know they were divorced. They were just still the grandparents. Yep. So when she was spending the night over there, to, oh, he's gonna go, he'll sleep in the other room so we can have our own little slumber party in here. There's a there's a yeah. wonderfulness to that that I think is very kind and very sweet. That they both kept, the grandmother and yeah. the grandfather. He's not trying to spoil it like, oh no, that's yeah. not the truth. They worked yeah. together just to make the granddaughter happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sweet. And not have something she would have to deal with growing up, figuring out, what do you mean y'all are I don't understand how that works. I all that kind of stuff. I granddad out. <laughs> and it makes her feel special. Like, yeah. oh, I granddad's doing this for me. Yeah. Grandma was doing this for me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, to find out when you're an adult, she went her whole life before she found it. She was an adult before she found it. What do you mean they were divorced? They've been divorced for decades. Yeah. yeah. That's Cap. That is. Did you say that's Cap? Mm -hmm. so Somebody true. making up something. That's Cap. I don't believe it. You just, I'm just more weirded out by the fact you're using the term cap, Rob. That's not something I expected from you today. More Ace and Friends coming up. Coming up. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, this equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard 
barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. This is Ace and Friends. Uh, yesterday, we had the cry hotline. Yeah. We found it from the 80s where you would call and they would tell you a sad story on the phone and you would pay $2 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute, yeah. just to cry. <laughs> um, here's one of the reasons why the internet is such a beautiful place. People started collecting other old commercial numbers. Hmm. Like uh, like this one for 976 Guts. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? Hey baby, you come here often? That used to happen to me until I started calling the pickup line. Now I've got more girls than I can handle. The pickup line taught me where to meet girls, how to meet them, and what to say. And <laughs> where to meet them, how to meet them, and what to say. Here's another one. Bizarre Encounters. Call and hear real people as they come face to face with. Bizarre Encounters. Bizarre. These are real commercials that aired on television. Big women are beautiful, too. Now there's a telephone dateline, especially for big women and men who want to meet them. Dial 1-900-230-4000. Pre-internet. Yeah. Pre-internet, what are you going to do? This seems so weird if you didn't grow up in a time before the internet. Yeah. Hotlines. Yeah. You know, in the 80s, early 90s, hotlines... Yeah, they were a big thing. Call me it's now for time you. to turn up the heat. Oh, probably shouldn't. Uh, what the heck was that? What was that? I'm just going through. <laughs> Whoa, that about got weird. Yeah. Uh, wait, let's see. Here's another one. The phone zombies are very, very dead. But they're not in their graves. They're in... <laughs> Holy crap. These are all numbers you would call and spend money to listen to the stories or connect with people or whatever. Cute little dog you've got there. But hold on. In a previous life, he could have been George Washington. Nice cat. Perhaps Annie Oakley. And look at him. Why, it's Napoleon. Reincarnation. What human being was your pet in a previous lifetime? Master reincarnationist E. David Scott will tell you when you call this number. You just pay money to call the number. The guy tells you what your pet, who your pet was in their previous life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, there's one more here. I didn't mean to do it. I'm so sorry. Women's secret confessions, all real, all true. It was horrible. I, I was out of control. Listen to women burying their souls. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> all of that stuff can be found on the internet today, but pre internet. Yeah. You had to call a phone line, pay $2 you, for a minute, 45 cents an additional minute. Are you a big woman? Yeah. <laughs> or somebody who wants to date a big woman? Yeah. Ugh. Ace and Friends. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. Ace and Friends. Well, we come to the end of another episode of Ace and Friends. Uh, Tech D. Rob, what is your favorite thing from the day today? Of course, it was when we were telling you you're actually not the modern day Mr. Rogers. Because okay. <laughs> you don't know him. You can't, you can't yeah. use that. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Do you think that I fairly represented you today in some of the thing in the, the what you need to know about Rob? Yeah, I think they were pretty, pretty fair. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it was pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Do you think we missed anything big, Riggins? Uh, in the five things you need to know about Rob? No, I think he covered it all. I mean, he, other than like he's in, he's a nerd and he's a proud nerd. But that that you kind of talked about that with the text. Yeah, stuff. the only other thing I would have added is that he's his relation. I don't know how to. I didn't know how to phrase it. His relationships are unusual in that Rob yeah. is very kind and outgoing and friendly and funny in here. Mm -hmm. But as we've proven many times, if we encounter Rob outside the room. If we run into him in a store, he tries to avoid contact with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. 
It's my least favorite thing about him. My social battery is just, it's <laughs> he, just drained. Like, he walked off and just, he ran into Riggs in the grocery store one day, and after staying there for a second, he just walked away and didn't say anything. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to walk off. Yeah. <laughs> He tried to hide from me, and oh no, you back? Was it me? You backed out of the store and drove away? No, uh, I, I I ducked down an aisle while right. you were going to the front. I was at the counter. My back was to the door when Rob walked in the store. He saw me and ducked down an aisle so I wouldn't see him and make contact with him. He tried to do it to TJ, but the person said, "Hey, good morning." Yeah. And Rob and TJ recognized yeah. Rob's voice. He goes, "Hi." <laughs> the lady at the QT really hung me out the dry there. Yeah, yeah from, they did. Yeah, God forbid. She's so kind and welcoming when you get to the store yeah. in the morning. Uh, Riggins' favorite thing about today's Ace and Friends. I think um, hearing Rob talk about not wanting to use the windshield wiper solely because his girlfriend wants him to. He he right. digs his heels in so hard, uh, much like you, Ace. But, I think. but there's the fact that he goes ahead and does the, the whole comeback. Well, that was, right, that, that was the, unnecessary. That's my favorite part of it. Not that he doesn't turn on the windshield wipers because she wants them to. He then doesn't turn them on and says, mm, I'll let the person without glasses decide who can see best. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty fun. That's my favorite part of the entire story. We'll see you tomorrow. Ace and Friends.